Hello again, today I'm going to be sharing the best Lightroom export settings for Instagram. If you're a photographer like myself, when sharing your work, you'll always want it to look at its best. When posting your work on Instagram, it's always very important to ensure you're playing along to Instagram's guidelines and rules. When sharing photos on Instagram, there are two main things to keep in mind, aspect ratio, and image size. Aspect ratio refers to the width and height of an image. You will traditionally see this written as two by three, four by five, or nine by 16. The first digit represents the width and the second digit represents the height. Size refers to the number of pixels that make up the width and height of the image. Like aspect ratio, size is measured in two numbers, the first representing the width and the second representing the height. In 2020, Instagram supports photos that have a width between 320 pixels and 1080 pixels. What this means is that if your photo is smaller than 320 pixels wide, Instagram will size it up to 320 pixels wide. And on the other side, if the image is wider than 1080 pixels, Instagram will res it down or size it down to 1080 pixels, in turn, destroying the quality and making the image look a little bit more pixelated or blurry. So you need to keep this in mind when exporting and uploading images to the platform. So if Instagram automatically resizes and compresses photos, does image size even matter? Absolutely. Even though Instagram does compress your photos, it's always best to share images that are at a more optimal, smaller size so that when Instagram does compress your photo, it doesn't affect image quality quite as much as if it was trying to compress a larger image. What's also important to remember is that your images fall within Instagram's aspect ratio guidelines. Otherwise, they will be cropped to fit one of the supported aspect ratios, which could result in part of your image being lost and compromising the composition of the image. I'd always recommend posting vertically orientated images onto Instagram. These will take advantage of the most screen real estate on the Instagram app. So to fit with Instagram's crop guidelines, this would be a four by five crop ratio. So now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's jump into Lightroom and get these export settings dialed in. Welcome back to my desk. Um, my neighbors have just started watching TV rather loud. So if you can hear that, I do apologize, but anyway, here I am in Lightroom. Before we bring up the export box, we first need to put the correct crop in place on our images. So I'm gonna to jump to the crop tool. As I said, the supported formats for vertical images for Instagram is four by five or eight by 10. And that's one of the presets here in Lightroom. So you click four by five. And as you can see, that's really chopped quite a lot off the top and bottom of the images. This is actually a little bit of a pain in the ass because a lot of compositions don't actually fit this orientation but these are just the rules that we kind of have to play to when we are at the mercy of Instagram. So I'm going to put my crop in place. This image was actually featured in one of my last videos. If you haven't seen it just click this little box up here. So once we've got our crop in place we're going to jump to the export box. What you need to do is make sure that the image format is JPEG. We're going to set quality to 100, color space to sRGB. And this is the most important part right here, the image sizing box. So you want to click resize to fit, select width and height and change the height to 1350 and the width to 1080. You'll also want to change your pixels per inch to 72. So these settings here in this image sizing box, this is where the most important settings come into play. If you don't resize your images and you just post your full res images onto Instagram, they will be compressed and they will look blurry. So using these settings right here will solve all of your problems. And as a plus, when you send your images to your phone to post onto Instagram, you're taking up way less space on your phone. So that's it. Once we hit export and we send our image to our phone and obviously if you're using Apple products this is made a lot easier by airdrop so when you go to post the image on Instagram and you tap the two arrows little icon on the left there the image will expand out to fit the 4x5 or 8x10 image ratio you don't have to do any kind of other cropping uh, because we've already done it in Lightroom I've actually already posted this image I'm pretty sure so so as you can see the image fits nicely it's not blurry, it hasn't been overly compressed by Instagram, and it still looks nice and sharp on the screen. And like I also mentioned, it fills up a lot more screen real estate than say a square or horizontal image. This is obviously down to personal preference, but when you really wanna kind of make a larger impact on a screen, going for that vertical eight by 10 crop really does 
fill the screen a lot more. So that's my quick tutorial on how to stop your images looking pixelated on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. And if it did, drop a like down below. And as always, thank you for watching.